Hi, James Lafredo here with another edition of The Source Live with ProAct. Today we're at Wisconsin Rapids up here in Wisconsin with Bob Ducker, fourth generation owner of Jacob Cyril's Family Farms. Can you tell us a little bit about the cranberry growing season? Well, the growing season starts April, May, depending on how early the spring is. And if we have an early spring, we're out here first part of April getting irrigation systems set up and running. If not, it's into May. And you have to have the sprinklers up and running by the time you, the plants start to grow because you can have early frost. And we have to protect the plants from frost in the spring as well as in the fall when the crop is there. So how many varieties of actual cranberries do you grow and pack at this facility? We have one mainstay, Stevens variety, that is probably our biggest variety, but then we've got probably six or seven varieties total. Some are mid-season and then we've got the late varieties. We do approximately 50% of Wisconsin's fresh fruit on this farm, of wow. which comes down to about 25% of Ocean Spray Cooperative's total fresh market. And Bob, you mentioned that you're a fresh cranberry farmer. What does that mean compared to a non-fresh grower? 95, 96% of the industry is processed fruit, which you use for craisins, juice, sauce. Fresh cranberries are like you would see in the produce section for the holidays, Thanksgiving traditionally and then Christmas. That being said, our harvest methods are different, our growing methods are much different. We grow a much shorter plant. It's a lot more hand labor, and especially for the harvest, it's much more labor intensive. And we have machines that actually will pick the berry, and then we bring them up and we dry, clean them and dry them and then store them in flats and then package them as a need. When we're harvesting and packaging, we have to have about 35 additional employees to our regular 10 full-time employees. And so we'll hire from the community or if people know that we're hiring, they come in from outside the area. Okay. So Bob, what exactly does the harvesting process look like? When we're ready to harvest, we'll uh, flood a bed up. Basically, we're flooding water in. It's all gravity flowed and we'll bring it in six or eight inches high, ankle high, and then the machines we have, because it's a vine, it creeps on the ground and we've trained it. We trained the plant to go one way, one direction, and then the other direction coming back. So we'll go down through the field or the bog, harvesting one direction, and then they'll come back on the other half of the field, and then we work towards the center, where it's just basically a a machine that's got a fixed row of teeth that kind of comb through the plant and as it combs through that plant mm -hmm. and those berries pop loose, the cranberry is hollow, it's got four air chambers in it so it wants to float. So as that machine comes through and it plucks that berry loose, it wants to float and then there's a row of paddles that elevate it up and deposit them on a conveyor belt. So once a product actually gets harvested, where does it go from there? It comes into a big refrigerated storage building that we have. We can hold up to three and a half million pounds of fresh cranberries and then Ocean Spray dictates to us or calls and says, well, we need X number of cases of a certain mm -hmm. size and we will bring it in. It gets transferred through conveyors and goes through an electronic sorter. And then there's some hand, it passes a couple of hand inspections and then it's elevated up and goes through packaging machines. And it, you know, we're doing different sizes depending on where the orders are going or if they're going anywhere in the US, Europe, mm -hmm. or Canada. So Bob, what makes this area of Wisconsin great for growing cranberries? For cranberries, you need acidic soil and lots of water. And the site, the best sites are lowlands or areas where you've got a lot of sand and you're already on site where you don't have to move a lot of material. Mm -hmm. This traditional area was all developed in bog or low-lying swampy environment is which is where a cranberry traditionally wants to grow or grows in the wild. Cranberries don't like to be 
flooded or mm -hmm. sitting in water. They want to have damp, damp conditions. But central Wisconsin has got a lot of acidic soil, acidic conditions, and a lot of water because it's a very low area where we are here in central Wisconsin. Well, Bob, today is one of our first really cold days of the year, and we're actually starting to see some snowflakes. Does that impact your growing and harvesting in any way? Well, it will if we get too much snow, it'll have to discontinue harvest because it's too hard to dry and dry snow. But actually the cold is actually good for us because it promotes good deep color in the cranberry. You know, cranberry needs cold weather to start to color up. Mm -hmm. So traditionally we want cooler weather in the fall in order to get the nice color of cranberries that the consumer wants to see. So. Even though, yeah, it's an adjustment for us today, there it'll be much colder by the time we get done with harvest. We'll be there will be days of snow and ice, but uh, oh, wow, it's that time of the year. So. Yeah. Well, Bob, we really appreciate you having us out to your family Thank you. farm. We're looking forward to enjoying some fresh cranberries this time of season. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to Proact, and we'd be happy to help you.